What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about the summer update to Hogwarts Legacy. What's going on with it? You know, it's been a little while, and uh, if you can't tell, we are approaching the summer. And look, this is not a doomsday type video. This is what we used to kind of do back in the day, right? Purely speculation. Talk about, you know, again, what we think uh, is going to even be in this DLC or this update or whatever you want to call it. And when could we see this thing? Now, that one's kind of a bigger deal because, you know, Things are coming up. Like, you got the Summer Game Fests of the world. You have a PlayStation show, most likely. At the time I'm recording this, it's not confirmed, so that might change, you know, with age. But you have the Xbox show. You got Ubisoft, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, there's a lot of opportunity to announce this thing whenever. But I actually think, I think all parts of this conversation do circle up into one thing, which is, again, how big is this update? And the reason I say that and the reason why it applies when you think of a, an actual, say, like DLC, a sizable update to a game of the stature, you know, how big Hogwarts Legacy is, okay? When you think of that, you might think of a showcase. You might think, oh, this is something that could absolutely appear at a PlayStation event. It could appear at Summer Games Fest because it's big. It's something that the community, you know, unites around and comes back and maybe it sells more copies of the game. You know, all of those things, right? However, there's an opposite side to things. If it's a small, little, uh, not impactful thing, and it doesn't do all of those things that I just said, well, it wouldn't appear, at least I don't think it would appear, at any of these things, at any of these events. It's not, it's literally the opposite. It's not big enough. Why, you know, why would it? Now, where I've always landed on it, controversially, maybe, like, I know there's been, like, fractions of the, the Wizarding World community that have said, like, oh, no, this is going to be, like, a massive thing. I truly do not believe it's going to be massive. I've said that since day one. So if I'm right, I can say I was right from the beginning. If I'm wrong, I can say, hey, I immediately missed the mark on that. You know, that's fine. But I've always said I really don't think this thing is going to be big. And I think the biggest uh, reasoning, at least for me, why is it very much seems like they've moved on. And I don't think that's a bad thing. It just very much seems like the team has moved on to what's next, whether it's a half MMO, half open world thing, or just Hogwarts Legacy 2, whatever it might be. I think a large amount of the team has moved off of it. Also, the language, literally the language that Chandler has used and just the language around this thing in general, it never sounded like it was going to be big. It sounds like it is a thank you to the community, which is appreciated. And, you know, we've always said that too, right? It's like, well, don't not do it. Absolutely do it, but just don't expect the world. You know, maybe expect whatever it might be, a couple updates here and there, maybe like an additional mission if you're lucky. These things can range. Like, it can be meaty. We've been surprised before from free updates. We've been surprised before from, uh, like, actual huge DLCs. And then it's gone in reverse. Like, we've been disappointed by these things before. It could be anything, and it's also really their first like go at this in terms of at least Hogwarts Legacy era going forward. They've never done it, right? There's also been kind of the more behind the scenes stuff. If you follow, you know, Avalanche and whatnot on Twitter, seems well, actually it doesn't seem like like they are moving at least filming locations. You know that room that several creators got to go to. You know they did all the, basically the content there, right? They're moving, and it seems like they're moving to like a better location or one that they wanted more, right? And that did set off alarms with people where it's like, huh, what could you announce in this new like filming space? Well, here's the thing. DLC or update or whatever you want to call it, big or small, you probably would use that new room. You know, so it's a little anticlimactic where it's like, yeah, I get it. Like they've moved locations and, you know, it's like a better setup now. I don't know if that gives it away where it's like, oh, now it needs to be gigantic because, of course, they're going to use that room to announce this update or it's like, well, they could do it anyway. You know, like I'm sure they'll do so when it happens. I'm sure they'll do a live stream. I'm sure they'll do maybe a community Q&A thing on Twitch or whatever. Like, you no, know, they'll do those things. And so they'll need that room. You know what I mean? Um, but again, where I really believe it's going to be is just a few little thank you like things. Nothing monumental. And it's not a negative. It's not to say that they need to do that. It's not to say that they should do it. I actually don't think, you know, I, I think what they will end up doing is fine. Whatever it ends up being, I think is fine because for me, at least I never expected it. I never massively needed it. The game came out, it released, it had a full package and that was, that was the deal. That's what we all bought. You know what I mean? So for me, it's fine. Again, this is where the split of well, when do, okay, well, when do we see it? 
Okay, well, here's the situation, at least how I think of it. I feel like big or small, big or small, unless it's absolutely gigantic, right? There's a range, but big or small, I feel like you want to give at least maybe two to three weeks. I think on Twitter I said one to three, so I'm going to amend that. If it's small, if it's super duper small, maybe a week. I mean, it would be short. It would be short, but I could see them saying, hey, next week we're, we're doing this thing. I think it's going to be longer than that. I personally think when they announce it, it's going to be at least, at least two weeks away, if not again, three, maybe even more. I think the bigger it is, the longer you want to space it out between announcement, just like a game. Well, maybe not exactly like it, but I get a lot of similarities. If it's a big DLC, you probably want to give some time. So if it's a me, if it's like a, an extra character or like a, a quest line, you know, like multiple things, if it's that, or like 10 new spells, I really think you would announce it, and then it would happen like a month or so later. In which case, and that goes back to the beginning, I think like Summer Games Fest actually makes a lot of sense. I, I highly doubt, maybe, I mean like the PlayStation show I guess is possible, but I would put that below Summer Games Fest, right? They could also just do it on their own. But I do think, I think June is the month. I think no matter what, whether it's at a, an event or whether it's on its own, I think June is the month that they say something and then you kind of plan from there. If it's smaller, maybe it's two weeks after. If it's bigger, then, you know, then maybe it's July, I guess. Like, let me finish that chain of thought, right? If it's a big thing, they show in the middle of June, it might be the middle of July. If it's a small thing, they show in the middle of June or maybe the end of June, then it's just a few weeks later. That's personally what I think. I don't think you want to let it get away from you and have this thing like, you know, September, September 1st. Like, you know, there there are historic days, I guess, throughout the year for Harry Potter. But I, I think you want to keep it literally in the summer. So you probably don't want to go past August. You probably, you know, you want to cap it at September onward. You don't want to do that. Um, so I'm thinking announcement in June and, and probable release in July. That would be my prediction on it. But let me know. Obviously, it could change. Obviously, you know, I have very strong thoughts. Maybe you guys think different. When do you think this thing is getting announced? And what do you think is going to be in this summer update? Let me know. Make sure, as always, you're subscribed to the channel. Bell icon turned on. I hope to see you all on the next one.